I would like you to draw a portrait of yourself during this interview and show it to us when okay. you're finished okay. so that we will see you from you po your <laughs> point of view. Okay? Okay. Um, I want to start from the beginning. What did you want to, want to be as a kid? Rock star. You did? Oh, yeah, from third grade. Uh, you know, first, my first thoughts were being a musician. And uh, so far, so good. <laughs> Definitely. Have you got any musical training? I'm a classically trained countertenor. I sang in the cho church choir and school choir for um, up to I was 19 years old. Mm -hmm. And uh, started singing rock and roll since third grade. Two didn't actually work together too well, but uh, uh, I was sang, sang classical music like a rocker, and <clears throat> but uh, it was definitely helpful. Do you miss the 80s when Sister Sister was really popular? No. You don't? No, I do not. Uh, I'm very, in, always been into the, the future and what lies ahead. I mean, the 80s were great, but mm -hmm. you can't live in the past. And, and, the, heavy, and, the, and the music got played out and tired. It was time for new blood. And a lot of new bloods come along, which is nice. Um, I've done that. I've been fortunate. And now I've moved on to, now I'm, I'm into uh, writing screenplays and making movies, which was my new goal, which I decided in 85, after I wrote the Twisted videos, that I wanted to write movies, mm. and I've been writing movies, developing that craft, and now I have my first film is in production right now, and, well, we're actually in post-production, which is editing, and uh, it'll be coming out worldwide in theaters in September. Pardon? How come you look the way that you did in the 80s, with, well, the hair, the makeup, and... Well, that was, you know, the 80s, and I was going for a certain look, and then, and now it's the next millennium. And uh, I was tired of the big hair and that, and that whole thing. Slowly, I've been changing my look. And then when I did my movie, my character in the film has red hair like this. Mm -hmm. And they uh, dyed my hair for the movie. They told me it was temporary. It was. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and so I've just been stuck with this, like, screaming red hair until uh, probably, well, I still have to do pick-up shots for the movie when I get back home. And I'll probably have it until movie comes out, then I don't know what I'm going to do. Cut it off, maybe, and go back to blonde. I want to be a blonde, like you Swedish people. Sounds some more fun. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm having a pretty crazy time with the red hair, I'll tell you that. <laughs> do you think that that 80s look will be fashionable again? I'm sure it will, but I'm just saying, if you, uh, if you wore it when it was originally in, you're too old to wear it when it comes back. You know, I mean, you look like a throwback or something, something like that. But I'm not going to try and a recapture and, and, and that hair was a was an ordeal. I mean, you know, I mean, it was like it was real and it was like, you know, down in here and every day it was like having a child with you at all times, you know, just having this hair with you. So so I'm not really like I'm not really too concerned about getting my hair back. <laughs> What do you think about us so far? Uh, I only saw the street out in front of the club. It <laughs> looked very nice. nice. <laughs> there are cobblestones. I like this quaint. What does your future look like in your future? Oh, ma'am, I am, like, so happening. If I was any more happening, I'd be twins. I'm headed to, like, probably the most exciting time of my life. You know, you've got the movie coming out, the radio show, the album, the tour, uh, and it's all connected to my dreams and my visions, which is great. And then I got my wife and my four kids, which is like totally happening. Yes, I have children. They allow me to have children. <laughs> I have to be an excellent dad. Forget about it. When you look like this, you got to be an excellent dad. And last words to your fans who's eagerly waiting for you to get up on the stage. Uh, you will not be disappointed. I'm still one sick bastard, in case you haven't noticed. I mean, I work <laughs> out all the time. To me, performing is... This picture is really scaring the crap out of me that I'm drawing <laughs> here. I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm missing all sorts of... Oh, I have no ears. Oh, no wonder it's so terrifying. I'm like some alien without ears in this picture. But uh, I promise no one will be disappointed. And, uh, and uh, you'll just be going 
what, where are the performers? Like the Epic Snyder. <laughs> Okay, so have, let's have a look. And My head's a little flatter than I <laughs> normally like, but I was going for the Frankenstein look. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Thank you. Pleasure.